we have another example for axial deformation so here we have a slab supported in points A and B by an aluminum rod and point B by steel rod so the dimensions are given if the length equals 6 feet for steel E equals this value and then you have uh, 4 feet for aluminum and then E and that value for aluminum so in this problem we're asked to find the ratio of the areas of the rods so these are the cross-sectional areas of the rods so that the slab will remain level so that means that um, the deformation at point A and B have to be equal so that their slab will remain level as both of these materials will, will deform no? due to the weight of the slab so our working equation here we have the deformation aluminum equals deformation of steel so you have PL over AE of aluminum equals the PL over AE of steel so the L is known you have E is known so for both sides but the P is unknown A is also unknown so we have PAL and PST no? but we can we can express both the P aluminum and P steel in terms of W so how do we express that in terms of W so first you have to do the or isolate the slab and represent it in a free body diagram so we have here the force of um, the steel then you have the force of the aluminum which is here and then you have the weight at the middle this is W and then we have this is um, one inch this is um, six inches this one is uh, three inches and then this is one inch then this one is um, this is three plus six plus one which is ten this is five so this is uh, two inches this one is four inches all right so this is five five three plus six plus nine plus one okay so first we sum up moments at a equals zero just to eliminate the presence of the aluminum force so that way positive so we have pst times the moment arm of um, six inches equals w times the moment arm of two so we have pst equals one third w so in terms of w you can also do summation of moments at um, b equals zero so this time that way is positive we have p aluminum times this is six inches uh, six feet I think this, this is feet 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 so sorry for the confusion that's that's supposed to be feet six feet which is feet equals um, w times four w times four so this is moment arm then you have pal equals two-third of w so you now have pst and pal in terms of w so we can substitute it to the equation so you p a l p aluminum is just two-third times l equals four feet which is uh, the area aluminum and then we have e which is uh, 10 times 10 to the 6 pounds per square inch which is you don't worry about the units so they, they will cancel out we have the PST is one third times six feet because we are required to find the ratio which is dimensionless and then you have the A S T and then you have the 29 times 10 to the six pounds per square inch so all the units will cancel out this one and this one so we now have AAL over AST aluminum area aluminum over A 
is t which is equal to 3.867 so it's not the ratio also the w will cancel out so you have 2 thirds divided by this one and then 1 third divided by this one then base al here then you multiply 29 over there so you'll have this one 3.867 so again what we did was just to do the statics of rigid bodies and then make use of this um, equation of the actual deformation which is for aluminum and steel